Fuck. Has always been and always will be. Form of the forces of good and evil have been blocked in eternal battle over the control of Earthrealm. Some seek to use the tournament to destroy all that is good. Others seek vengeance, power, or eternal life. Time after time, each individual threat has been vanquished, and Earthrealm has enjoyed relative peace for many years. But there is concern that Earth is once again in peril. And this time, the threat of evil has two faces. Quan Chi. It is now known that the sorcerer Quan Chi has escaped from the Netherrealm. Since his escape, Quan Chi has unlocked the secret of the ancient Ruling Stone. Discovered the ancient undefeatable army of the long forgotten Dragon King. And most disturbing of all, formed an alliance with one of our deadliest enemies, Shang Tsung. With their combined strength, they plotted to overpower the only two beings who could prevent their total domination of the two realms. The first was the Emperor of our world, Shao Kahn. In a false show of allegiance, they sprung their attack. Then traveled to Earthrealm by way of a mystical portal known only the sorcerers and deities. There, they confronted Earth's mightiest warrior and champion of mortal combat, the Liu Kang. It has been Shang Tsung's desire to consume the soul oh. of Earthrealm to create a steel warrior. The fight scene. <laughs> assistance, he achieved this goal. Liu Kang, Liu Kang is, is dead. dead. Your soul is mine. They achieved return to Outworld and are using the souls of conquered warriors to resurrect the Dragon King's undefeatable army. Should they succeed, they will have the means to conquer our world and eventually Earth realm. They will be unstoppable. I can no longer stand idly by and watch this evil consume the world. I have relinquished my status as Elder God to return to Earth and lead you all to battle against our old adversaries. We must act now. We must stop this deadly alliance. Hi, right, guys and girl. It's me. Uh, uh, welcome to a Mortal Kombat review. Let me take a look at. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance on PlayStation 2, reviewing by Martino007. Uh, this uh, first, I'm gonna say this took a long time to release, five years after MK4 releasing the arcades. Oh, loading screens. I love the loading screens. Why can I release these? Why? Um. Uh, yeah. So it went on home consoles because arcades of Midway closed down. I think 99, 2000 or something like that, or whatever, 2001. Let me turn on the phone. Uh, this chair over here. All right, let's press start. On my profile. So you get your arcade versus practice mode. Conquest, you travel on a long journey to earning currency as you face hundreds of challenges. So you're basically learning all uh, different styles, different fighting styles. The crypt, you buy characters with your earned currency, arenas, extras. 
um, videos, stuff like that. So like, uh, so there are 676 total, 26 times 26, that's what equals it. So I'm going to just make code here. I just put Mr. Heavy there, I don't know why. <laughs> There's your content here. Let me turn this up a little bit. Your characters, endings, arenas. I don't have anything purchased. I don't have anything purchased yet. Extras, Megan of Mortal Kombat, History, Edema. There's your music video there. View video of Mortal by Edema, where that's uh, based on the Scorpion Quan Chi chase. I'm sure, a lot of you've seen it already. So, I don't know the Extras. Do have anything extras? There's your extras here. That's all I don't have. I don't have anything unlocked yet. There's your endings. I only have Scorpion and Sonya's endings. That's all I unlocked so far. So we'll do a conquest. Continue on from there. So go to Kurt Shang Tsung, but right show Quan Chi, Sonya, Scorpion, God is done already. Lee Mei, Kenshi, Mavado, Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Kano, Sub Zero, Natara, Dramen, Suhao, Frost. I only got Frost unlocked. A female of Sub Zero, Jax, Katana, Raiden, Bretel, and Cyrax. And then you get Mocap and um, Blaze after you get all the conquest stuff done. So I'm gonna continue with Sonya. So you, you have 218 to complete. The first set you're sub zero. And then like the rest of it just pick whichever character you want to use. So it tells you like, oh, that's Cyrex's face. I mean it tells you with fine styles. Like find style it is and stuff. See, that, I'm doing a uh, Taekwondo. The Japanese occupation of Korea from 1910 through the end of World War II influenced Taekwondo through the introduction of Shotokan Karate. Initially sought to the military, Taekwondo is the Korean equivalent of Karate, which more emphasis placed on kicking. Dr. Tino, alright. Yeah, that's real Taekwondo over there. That's authentic. Kano is not a pushover. He has the special forces. Just... Huh? Ah. Oh. Hold block. R2 is hold block. That's to a reverse hold L1, R1 I mean. L1 is change your fine style. So we're gonna still, oops. Reverse R1.
At least six is the martial of the Philippines. The general environment of those islands has naturally led to the development of fighting techniques which utilize sticks and long knives. So this is called Kelly Sticks. And that's actually the uh the uh, Scream of Sticks. Oh. It's from the Philippines. The country that I represent. So that's the So I first heard of this in I believe two thousand and three. I first heard of the Philippine Martial Arts Screamer. So, this computer's moving. Outstanding. Outstanding. Nice. Lower reaches. So you get special moves too. As well. In fact, there's this four four plus X. That's the So X X and uh, circle are kicks. Triangle and score your punches. Yeah, so that's that's what Mortal Kombat's about. That's about it, just like in the older games. But they're not a high punch, low punch sort of thing, they're just Kick and kick, sort of thing. Kenpo. Finish these. So I have to do this juggle here. Ah, shit. Ah, this is too slow. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Took me a few tries on that. So you earn uh, gold coins. You earn uh, whatever coins you earn. <laughs> you can use that for uh, your crypt. Good. Slowly screens are awesome. Mm -hmm. So now it's a uh, combination of attacks now. And as you can see there, on Kenpo. Jujitsu, jujitsu, <laughs> spell as jujitsu. Jido. A goal? There's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. 
Oh, that's, that's what I'm going to move to. I'm not going to... So, yeah, like that. Okay. Let's do it. Oops. Combos. Tight, huh? Hmm. Start in Kenpo. Okay. Damn it! Not it. Yes! Perfect. I, I love that. Way to start to master all these styles. So this is what, this is what comes about. You learn every character in their fighting styles. What the fuck they do. And there are special moves as well. Ten. Sonya Blade. Let's 
Sonja versus the yeah, if someone blame her. Damn it! I don't want to do that. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's right. As you can see, there's more to learn here. Still recording. All right, that's it for Sonia. And uh, I don't want Ken. I don't want Ken. She. Oh, well, guess we'll do one Ken. She then. Tai Chi Chuan. See, there's her information on Tai Chi. It's her supreme ultimate fist. Because it's a 13 plus which form the basis of for all modern Tai Chi. This considered an internal form of martial arts where internal energy is an important element. Yeah, Lei Feng does Tai Chi as well. In Dead or Alive. Tai Chi Chuan. That's something I always want to learn. And then Ninja. I want to learn Ninjutsu. There's all this have to be Kenji then. <laughs> Another giant cage next. But not in this review though. On my own though. Ah shit. Hey, there's no breakers here. Just gotta remember there's no breakers in this game. Let's do this one. Europe and China. Sanshao. So that's uh, another Chinese art. It's uh, like a Chinese kickboxing sort of style. So that's not a style I would like to learn. I would, I like to keep this. Well done. Huh?
好看。So, I'm gonna go to the crypt here real quick and show you what I mean. Here, crypt. Here are your coffins here. Goes all the way A to Z here. Let's see what we got this one. So uh, here's my the manual. So sometimes you get coins too, as you just saw there. So I have this list. That cross out. So I can cross out whatever I need to cross out. Cross out the ZZ. That's done. Let's go along good enough. Let's see what's in this one. The Tara costume. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh. Eighteen sapphire coins. Awesome. Let's get this one and see what I get. Two of them. Shang Tsung's Palace Sketch. Interesting. We'll get this one. So garden sketch. That's interesting. I'm gonna go to arcade mode here for a little bit, and then we'll take off from there. I'm gonna use Johnny Cage. Jikun Do. Portal. Back forward, forward. Back for down check. Each character only has uh, one fatality. And these fatalities are longer than the uh, previous MK games. MK1, 2, 3. And MK4. Because they this would have been an awesome arcade game if this was to be released in arcades, but that did not happen. 
I wish it did though. <laughs> this battle plan is awesome. Man. I love the battle plan where it goes like this. Or like that. Across Outworld. So that's what. That's basically you're going through Outworld. To face opponents across the Outworld to defeat the Deadly Alliance. See, that's flip. On the side. So let's go a few more rounds here. Here. I remember Clone Lyles is down on back X and Scorpion is back down down back circle. I don't remember. The rest of them I can't remember as much. This has been a long time since I played. I played last time I played this before was like 2008 somewhere and I bought this at the Gulf Fleet Market like uh, a couple weeks ago. I started playing this again because one of my cousins borrowed it I and mean, I never got it back. Is this because they said they lost it or something? Or whatever, so that's why I had to buy a new copy myself. <laughs> oh, it's like in the movie. Nobody ever said Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage versus Scorpion. Let's get the fatality. I don't feel like doing it. Kinda takes too long. Sometimes. Acid bath. Yeah, there was. There's supposed to be a pit fatality for that acid bath, but they couldn't finish it in time. Oh, here's the uh, test here, Mike. Thingy. That comes uh, every few, every after every few fights. So this is red when I'm breaking. Press R two to break. Oh. Folks, uh, I'm gonna be getting going from here. I'm gonna stop it right here. So I'm gonna give this a 9.1 out of 10. This is a great, more come down is a great game. I love the conquest mode, the story bound. I mean, the storyline. Excuse me, storyline, the visuals, loading screens, everything's all that's good. But in uh, the daily lines is more point A to point B in conquest for the conquest mode. But in deception, I prefer that one. It's more free roaming. You like go walk around and talk to people, do like certain missions, you know. Find all the treasures at certain times. I thought that was a cool idea. But I always thought in the future of video games, when the virtual would be 
makes it big. As soon as it makes it big, I don't know when that's gonna be like 10 to 15 years from now. I can imagine for a conquest mode, you can actually learn uh, different fighting styles. Go on a journey and using your body to practice those movements. You know what I mean? But you're not you're not gonna be using this. No, you don't need to use arcade sticks. I wouldn't I would not want to use arcade sticks for this. But for this game, yeah, I'm using a controller. I even don't use I have an arcade stick as a more I'm just more used to the pad. I'm talking about in the future video games, I would love to see a compass conquest mode where you can learn multiple fighting styles. Like you know, go go one at a time, you know. Keep learning until you finish it and then move on to the next style like Taekwondo, Sanshao, Jeet Kundo, Tai Chi, Zing Yi, Long Fist. I always want to learn Ninjutsu, that's the one I want to try out. X, X, mixed Martial Arts, XMA, um, um, Hong Kong Stunt Fighting, you know, uh, Acrobatic Stunt Fighting, uh, Martial Acrobatics, and even if it's uh, mixed with break dancing, I would love to learn it as well, like break dance fighting combat or whatever, if, if I can make that. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Yeah, the central is all of the central too. They brought, they killed Liu Kang. I was actually surprised. It's the, the thing they shocked everyone just to bring back the Mortal Kombat game after five year wait since after MK4 five year wait sort of thing. Yeah, so Liu Kang's dead. We thought Liu Kang will never die, and he's actually dead. Uh, the best fighter, I thought the best fighter Liu Kang would never die until we found out in this intro he actually died. So that's that. So maybe, hey, maybe one day I'll uh, make my own DVD film, like a documentary or something, who knows. Maybe I'll sell it on iTunes, Amazon or something. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll have a uh, DLCs for advanced fighting styles just to complete the system or something. <laughs> We're like forty, fifty dollars for all fighting styles in the future of gaming. Unless if it's gonna be free, I guess, for the black belt testing or whatever. In virtual reality. Alright, peace out.